Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on determining the molar mass of an acid by titration. Titration is when you take an acid which is donating a proton and you mix it with a base which is receiving that proton. And often you will neutralize that acid with the base, uh, many times with water by making water. So proton joins up with say a hydroxide and it turns into hydrogen hydroxide, which is H2O. Okay, I don't think you actually call water hydrogen hydroxide, but it's H and OH together, so it's H2O. So if you were to make uh, an acid, in this case, it's a diprotic acid, so there's two protons. So let's just do a generic two protons. Uh, I've got H2X, so that's an acid. I don't know what this is, so it's just something. So whatever the, uh, this is the, the base part of, or the conjugate base of this acid. And I am titrating it with sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base. And you're going to, this will break apart because it's, it uh, is a strong base. It breaks apart completely. Uh, this is an acid. It may or may not break apart completely, but let's, uh, Let's say this breaks apart. You're going to have an H join with the H, or the, with the OH and make water. The other H will then do it again and break with the o, with the OH and make water. You're going to be left with some kind of a conjugate base, and then you're going to be left with a sodium. So you're going to end up with water, and you're going to end up with um, a salt. So a sodium ion and then the whatever is left over, whatever that generic leftover is. Okay, so you are going to be given a certain number of grams. Okay, so we have 0.067 grams of this acid. Well, I don't know what acid it is, but you're asked if you want to know the molar mass of this unknown acid. Well, that seems really hard, but all you really have to think of is an, is an acid is just throwing a proton. Think of it as a as the um, throwing a ball, and the hydroxide is going to catch that ball. So if I could find out how many moles of, of sodium hydroxide I have, then I know that for every ball, think of this as a, a proton as a ball, how many hydroxides do I need to catch it? So I have this, this would be one ball, I'd need an OH to catch that ball to make water, and here's a second ball, so I would need a second hydroxide to catch it. So what's going to happen is whatever number of moles of this that you have, okay, you're going to need half as much of this. I need twice as much of this, half as much of the other. Okay, so I would need two hydroxides for, ev for these two protons. So we're going to find out what the m how many moles of this it is, and this is simply going to be um, half that amount. So what do we got? We have a molar solution of hydroxide, so I have 0.19 molar uh, sodium hydroxide, and that equals moles over liters, okay? And we want 250 milliliters um, volumetric flask. Nope, I'm sorry, that's, that's going to be in the, this is what I need. I have uh, 4.2 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. Well, I need this in moles over liters is molarity. So that means I need to divide that by 1,000. So this is 0 0.0042 liters. Okay, so if I have 19 molar solution of sodium hydroxide and I have 0 0.0042 liters of it, then if I multiply, I'll know how many moles of this it is. Okay. So that means I'm going to have 19 times this. That gives me 0 0.00798 moles. So if I have seven, a 0.77, uh, see, sorry, three zeros, 0 0.000798 moles of sodium hydroxide, that means since I have, it's a two to one relationship, then I need half as much here. So this is gonna be 0 0.00399 moles of this, okay? Well, what is 
the molar mass, or your molar mass is going to be grams per mole. Well, I have this many grams, and I have this many moles. So I'm simply going to make a fraction, 0 0.00399. So I have 0 0.067 grams of this acid divided by 0 0.00, I did that twice, I'm very sorry, 0 0.000399. There's three zeros here, I have to have three zeros here. I'm sorry to confuse you. That will give me three zeros here. So this divided by this is grams per mole. That's, that is your molar mass. So when I do the math, I get 167.92. It's asking for correct digits. So there, I need two significant digits here. I have two significant digits here. That means I'm gonna need 1.7 times 10 to the 2 grams per mole. And that's my answer. I hope that helps.